Big Z Reviews. Perfume or Parfum is a German uh, mystery thriller that is now streaming on Netflix. Like they picked it up for the worldwide audiences. And like I really love this show. Like it definitely has some different sensibilities being like a German show and, and, and when compared to like a, an American show. But I is very thrilling and a lot of twists and turns and I really loved it. Seliger und den anderen vom Internat war sie ganz eng befreundet. Wir haben da so eine Art Geheimclub gegründet. Warum gingst du? Riechen. Ja, wir haben auch versucht, Gerüche einzufangen. Im Achselgewebe befinden sich Duft- und Schweißdrüsen, ebenfalls im Intimbereich. Man könnte diese Drüsen extrahieren, damit ein viel stärkeres Parfüm herstellt. Wer begeht für sie die Morde? Verdächtige Sie. So this show and the character of this show are kind of inspired by uh, the book and the movie Perfume. I think it's like the, stor the story of a murderer or something like that. Like there's, I, I've, I've, I haven't read the book, but I saw the movie like a couple years ago when it came out. And it kind of plays into the story because there are a bunch of flashbacks. And like back when they, their kids are young, they read the book and were fascinated by it. And then in the present, the detective that's investigating it is like reading the book and watching the movie and kind of get in, in, in really interested in the whole idea of smell being so strong and like things you can do with the perfect smell and like how you could affect people's minds and how you can make people love you and make people a lot of things that you can do with that. And like the whole setup of this is that at the beginning of the show, there's this singer which is found uh, dead and she had her like uh, her hair shaved off and like her scent glands under her armpits and her around her privates like cut out it's like surgically and that you know that they have all there this woman with all this childhood friends are all suspects and you have like the the woman like the detective trying to figure out you know, who actually did it and at the same time the other friends are kind of all suspecting each other and that you have this all these flashbacks seeing what happened when they were kids, but something tragic, something horrible happened when they were young. And it's similar to what's happening now with this, with this woman that was murdered. And the main detective, uh, Naja Simone, is uh, played by Frederic Becht. And I really liked her, but at the same time, um, there's a lot of drama involved with her character because she's having like an affair with her boss, the prosecutor. And I like stuff that they did with it, but at the same time, there's a lot of drama with that. And at, th at some point, it's like, oh, okay, come on, you know, get back to get back to the mystery, get back to the murdering stuff, and <laughs> and like the the one thing with the flashbacks, like I like that a lot of the, how they did it. Like it's well crafted, but at the same time, the the kids they got to play the the younger versions of the the other of the main characters. They are, they look too old. Like, they, they think they're supposed to be, like, most of them are 15, and the one girl is, like, under 13. And especially the one that's supposed to be under 13, she looks like 20-some. And uh, what's happened with her is even more tra tragic because she's only so, she's so young. But, like, she doesn't look that young. And know, they can't really do that because, like, they kind of get naked and stuff, and there's, like, sexy times and some bad sexy time some then it goes into other stuff and so they can't i mean it's probably they can't use kids but at the same time like it i thought they were so much older like i thought like they were 18 getting ready to go to college or something and then university i guess they no i'm not sure what they call it in germany but then they they come out that uh, towards like as things happen and like you that you were only 13 at the time and it's like oh really huh and i liked all of the actors and I, I like that, you know, a lot of them, you're not sure who it could be. Like, there's a lot of different twists and turns in the investigation. And, like, you don't know, like, it seems like everyone could be a suspect. And there's obviously one that is the most obvious. And, like, there's stuff that it might be something else going on. And I, I like how they played with that. And it makes it a very bingeable show. Because it's only, like, six episodes, like, six hour-long episodes. But, like, you, I, I had to stop myself doing do uh, two a night. Because I, I wanted to keep watching, they were so good, and I really wanted to see what happened next. And it's funny when you actually—I'm not going to spoil it. 
But once you actually find out who the killer is and what's all going on, like, it makes sense. I, I love a good twist where, like, if you look back on it, you can see how that works. Like, oh, that person would do that. And okay, I see where they're going. And I love that even when it clicks with you. When, like, you know, when, like, something is revealed and you're like, oh. And I love that moment. And this delivers on that moment incredibly well. And it was also beautifully filmed. Like, I really like the cinematography of the show. And there is a lot of, like, nudity. And there's some uncomfortable moments, too. But there's a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of interesting things. But, like, each character is damaged in different ways. And they all, have, you see, have potential for maybe they're the murderer. And they, like, you, I, I, I love how it plays with all that. Like, it's an incredibly interesting show that I would highly recommend. Probably give, like, a 9.25 out of 10. You know, don't let the subtitle scare you away. You know, it's, when you, if you actually start a show, like, it really, you get into it and don't even notice it after, after you first start it. I, I would definitely highly recommend it if you have Netflix. But thanks for watching. You should play this on my head and subscribe to me that Z over there. Thanks. This has been a Big Z TV show review. Thanks for watching.